And, you know, one thing you've done a good job is, you know, keeping your name at top of mind, always venturing out, working with different artists. And the it's not easy to lend your energies to one artist for a whole project, but you've done it multiple times with multiple different artists. What do you feel like the magic is in tapping in with one producer versus working with a bunch of producers to put together a project? Uh, the magic is just that communication line and just that camaraderie that you build, you know what I mean? Like working on the last four Nas albums, like, you know, we've just built on a deeper level than just the music, you know what I'm saying? We might hang for a day and it's not even about the music. So that's going to build, you know, a certain type of bond or a certain type of respect that's just more than just the music. And then that trickles down and then it makes it, to me, makes it easier for you to make the music because you kind of like, I could be thinking about going somewhere and then he thinking about, oh, damn, I was just about to say the same thing. Like, we should do this with the production or do this with the track, do this with the arrangement. So we all we just like we thinking for each other because we've been around each other so much. Now, how were you able to do with Nas with which a lot of producers who have worked with him since his first album was unable to do? Like you got him to do not one, not two, but four exclusive projects and then with the fast turnaround too and it wasn't pumped out like you know sometimes you could tell when oh these are leftover records from a session like everything right. seemed like it served a purpose what was it about the chemistry that y'all had the way like it was just, it seemed so natural and organic yeah i mean it's like you know i see i see like the real hip-hop heads that's like yo i want i want nas you know with p rock or i want nas with premiere which is like it was super respectable but at the same time like maybe i just had you know a different level of even patience like nas is you know nas he gonna dig deep he gonna say some stuff that hasn't been said before in a context you haven't heard it in before so you know i got the patience to just like meet him wherever he at you know what i'm saying like wherever his energy is at like i'ma just go there and you know i'm not to say they they didn't or wouldn't or whatever the case is but he just caught me at the right time where i was trying to prove myself with you know even doing a record as big as niggas in paris it kind of put me in a box to where a lot of people thought i was just a club producer or a trap producer not even knowing that you know what i mean like i was doing shit for g unit in 2008 i was doing stuff for game in 2007 2009 like i've, I've been working on boom bap sample driven heavily uh heavy musicality and people just like oh i was even surprised myself that the niggas in Paris beat is one of my simplest beats, but it may be my most money. You know what I mean? So it's 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 gem it's gems in that too. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you gotta take that in. Like okay, well, it's a science to that. People like simplicity, obviously, because I got beats that I would layer up, layer up, layer up. I'm thinking I'm going Beethoven level, and then people be like, skip past that, and go to the next one. And it's like, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like perspective, man.